Do you ever find yourself scrolling on TikTok and seeing your favorite creators recommending all kinds of crazy products to you and you wonder, do they really work? Are they really worth the hype? Well, today, Detective Dare is in the house here on Dare Bear Live and we're gonna be testing some of your favorite influencers recommended beauty products. So I decided to purchase a couple of items that a lot of TikTokers recommended and I decided to use them for a month and see if these items became part of my daily regimen. But before I get to showing you which items I purchased and what I ended up using, my name is Dear Taylor. I'm commonly known on the internet as a full-time actress, content creator on a lot of your favorite platforms. But today we're gonna break it down and I'm gonna be completely honest and transparent about these products. That way you can determine if they are worth the purchase price or not so much. The first product that I was enticed to buy is actually a deodorant. I currently use Old Spice. I know that that's kind of like a dude product, but um, I've been looking for an aluminum free dupe or something that would keep the aluminum out from under my arms. And this TikTok is what sold me. Amazon Beauty must have. So you probably already know this brand is known for like having products that smell amazing. Products that smell amazing. So I couldn't find this exact deodorant that she talks about, but I did find something similar and by the same brand. Uh, this is the Lumi Solid Stick Deodorant in Warm Vanilla. And she wasn't joking. This does smell amazing. Let's test it. All right, here we go. First day trying the Lumi Solid Stick Deodorant. The deodorant seemed like a normal deodorant to me. I personally don't like the white leftover when I put on deodorant that have that powdery finish to it because it usually transfers onto a lot of my clothing. So this guy didn't really become a staple in my everyday routine. And mainly it's because I tend to be a little bit of like a sweatier girl. And I just found that this deodorant didn't really hold up to the challenge. It ended up getting all over my clothing just because it's got the, that white residue left over that would get on the sides of my clothes when I would take things on and off. So for me personally, I think this guy is a skip. I'll probably still give it like a five out of 10 because it did work. It just didn't work as much as I had hoped it would have. The next product that I wanted to test was this coffee body scrub that everybody was ranting and raving about. If you know anything about me, I absolutely love and adore the smell of coffee, vanilla, like anything very sweet and like sugary warm smell is kind of my vibe when it comes to perfumes, body washes, deodorants. So I got my hands on this one based off of this TikTok. I got my hands on the coconut coffee body scrub. It is sulfate free. It's by the company OGX. I've never really like heard of them before. I felt like this was like really worth the money. It was a great exfoliating scrub. I felt like it really got all the dirt and grime off of my body while still smelling amazing. I do think that an exfoliating scrub is not something you want to use daily. So this would be like a once a week kind of treatment. My first use of this product was, I think that it was something really fun and something I could look forward to using in the bath or in the shower. Amazing. It smelled so delicious. It looked amazing. I was like very tempted to actually eat it because it was so delicious. This line right here, do you see this? That's where, like that's how much product I have left. That's like how much product I used in a month. This was amazing. A total like score home run hit. I ended up using this more than once a week, which I know you're not supposed to do because you're only supposed to exfoliate once a week, but I digress. Oh, the smell is like, oh, it's so good. It's so delicious like I did in the video earlier. 25 out of 10, this is staying in my daily routine. Now, the next product that I bought, I know technically isn't a beauty product, but I think this could be a life-saving hack for someone like me. This month, this charges three devices at once to make sure I'm never on low battery. Yeah, yeah, that literally sold me so much. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up. I think I got it in white, just because it's so sleek and elegant. Oh, this is the night light right here. Okay, cool. Oh, I see. So you just like lean your phone on here. Oh, this is for your watch. Okay, so your watch goes up here, your iPhone goes here, and then your AirPods go on this thing. So I'm gonna plug this in and we'll see if this becomes part of my daily routine. All right, I got my fast charge all plugged in. Oh, look at this cord madness. It's a mess, but anyways, I got her plugged in. Let's see if it actually fast charges like it says. You can see I'm uploading right now. Oh, look at that, it works. Okay, awesome. And this is like a touch light that you can decide how bright you want it to go. So cool. Now let's test with the AirPods. Hmm, okay, uh, they're working. This light's supposed to light up when I put stuff on it. So let me let me try my old AirPods because maybe these are too new for this device. Okay, these are my old AirPods. Well, let's see if it will work. 
Oh, okay. Well, it works for my old AirPods, just not my new ones. So, okay, noted. Works. That's great. The next fun beauty product that I got was ice globes. Hear me out, this TikTok totally sold me. 100 moisturizers in my life, and this is top three. If you struggle with headaches or puffy skin, you need these ice globes. They're gorgeous, and they're less than 30. Ooh, and they're less than $30. Globies. Look at this guy. Oh, okay, cool. So here they are, the ice globes. They look really beautiful. I'm curious to put them in my freezer and then see how they feel on my face. Oh, they're definitely class. Wow, okay. All right, so I got my globes out of the freezer. I'm gonna test them. They're very freezer burnt. I don't know if that's good or bad. We're gonna watch a tutorial on how to use them properly. I'm really glad I watched a video while I did that, like that I could do it along with her. I'm curious as to like how often do people use these? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if this will become part of my daily routine, but it was it was very relaxing. I'd give it like a seven out of 10. It was good. I like it. That feels good. Another Amazon product that caught my eye were these sponges. If you know anything about me, you know that I wear makeup a lot and I usually end up using these little sponge applicators, but I saw that these were on sale on Amazon and someone on TikTok, I don't actually have the original TikTok anymore, which makes me very sad, but someone recommended getting these instead of doing like e.l.f. cosmetics. These are not tested on animals. Uh, they're latex free, super soft, expands when wet, like all the usual things, but for less money and um, not harming animals. So I'm gonna give these a try and see if these will maybe replace my current beauty blender. Let's do it. I like it. It's a of light. I do like it. Yeah, I like these. I get behind these. Wet that girl. I would say my overall review of the sponges is that they're good, but they're not that good. They're just not as like dense as other sponges, but I think I'm not gonna buy them going forward. Cosmetics that I can get at Target for like a dollar does a better job than these. So I'm gonna give this like a, like a four out of 10 is what I would say, but yeah. Skincare is a really big part of my daily regimen. I saw somebody on TikTok a long time ago actually recommend this product. It's the new key multicolored light face mask that you can buy on Amazon. So I wanna see if my skin will improve if I actually commit to using this for a month and see if this is something that I would add to my beauty routine as well. All right, it is bedtime. So now I'm gonna use my mask. I'm gonna let my face cook for 25 minutes and I will see you afterwards. Oh, it's been 25 minutes. I don't know if it really did anything. What do we think? I'll try again tomorrow. Okay, bye. I highly recommend that I really love and now has become a staple in my routine is this light mask. I think it really helps change the course of my acne on my face. And it also really helped me solidify a nighttime routine before bed. Another important thing when it comes to your beauty regimen is making sure you get plenty of exercise. If you know anything about me, I feel like I've said that a lot in this video. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that I actually used to be a figure skater and I've been taking up ice skating just like once or twice a week in order to get my body moving. So I saw her rollerblading around the world and I decided that I wanted to get some rollerblades too. So I'm gonna test these bad boys out and see if I can do some of my typical ice skating tricks on wheels. This is epic. I mean, I want to recommend the skates too if you're a skater because these are just really fun. If you're not into roller skating or rollerblading, maybe not. But like to me, this was like really fun to use and test out. So um, shout out to me buying me this because it's really great. <laughs> and last but not least, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a company that's been promoting beauty products on like every platform and they're called Truly. I was very curious because their products seem to have a lot of promise to them. I don't know. I just, I've been seeing a lot of ads for this product and I was like, you know what? I wanna test it. I wanna see like, is this product life-changing? Is this something that I feel like I would use in my daily routine? Thank you. 
I didn't use a lot of it. This Truly product is amazing. It's got a great smell to it, but it didn't become a part of my daily beauty routine. It's because I don't like the after sticky feeling that it leaves. I'm gonna give it a two out of 10 because on the label here it says, Buns of Glory, smoothing butt butter, tighten and glow. And I didn't really feel like it did any of those things for me. I felt like my took us just got sticky from the product and it never really absorbed into the skin. I didn't feel like my buns of steel becoming more firm. I just don't think it was really worth the price because it didn't do what it says it's supposed to do. I highly recommend this one, although it didn't really do what the product said it was supposed to. It didn't really like lift and firm anything at all, if I'm being honest, but I love the way it smells and leaves a little glisten on your body, like a little shine without being sticky. So I highly recommend this product as well. It definitely became like a staple for date night for me. So grab this guy, really good. I hope this YouTube video really helped you figure out if these beauty products were worth it or something that you would be enticed to buy. I know for me personally, this was really fun because I get sick of watching YouTubers and other influencers try products like one time and be like, wow, I love this. But then you never actually see it make it to their daily routine. So this was kind of a fun experiment for me to test and see like what things would stay in my daily routine. Honestly, if I were to give a huge recommendation to a couple products that I felt like really did last the test of the month time span, I would give it up to the coconut coffee scrub. I use this once a week all over on my body. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching and consider subscribing if you really liked this video. Let me know in the comments below because I'd love to test out more beauty products. It was super easy for me. It was really fun. And I also like love my new skincare routine after this video. And I will see you Dare Bear Cubs in the next upload. Bye.